Hello, welcome to my channel House of Leo. Today I'm going to show you how to use a Kumihimo board to make some cords for your macrame necklaces. So I have an example here of a large macrame pendant and I have made the cord that it hangs on, this lovely stripy cord, using one of these. I have a few examples. Here's another necklace with a large gemstone hanging on it, so it's quite heavy, so I wanted a thick cord to make that into a necklace. I have this one here is um, some hair jewellery, so it's just one strand dangling, and I've done macrame up until this point, and then the rest was made on the Kumihimo board. And here I have one that I have made using yarn because you can also use these to make friendship bracelets or simple things. This is a, a craft that children can do as well. Obviously, you can see the difference between using yarn and using macrame thread. This one's much chunkier. But today I'm going to show you how to do the stripy look. Let's get started. So to create the stripy effect, you're going to need two colours. I think I'm going to go with the green and the beige today. And you're going to need your board. I will pop a link below to purchase these things. These are waxed polyester cords, perfect for macrame. And the Kumihimo board is um, its just foam. They look like this on one side. They're very cheap, I shall pop a link below, but you can also make this out of cardboard if you wish, you just need to cut some slits into it. So I have cut four threads of each colour and I have made them about three times as long as I want the finished piece to be. So this one I'm just making a simple bracelet tie, so it's about, I'd say, a metre long because you need a bit extra on either end to, to create the tie. So what I'm going to do now is leaving a tail end, tie a little slip knot into all of them. I do a slip knot because I will want to untie that and um, do something more decorative once I've finished. You can also Where's the example? For example, with this one, I did the macrame work. So I macrame up until this point, and then I put my, my board in and started. So you can use these to make more ornate decorative things if you can, if you're into macrame, or you could just make simple bracelets. So let's start. I'm going to set this up off camera. You pop that through your ring and then I'll show you how it looks. So to create the stripe pattern, we have our two colors. We have two at the top, two at the bottom and either side. So you, you alternate them. This is probably one of the most simple crafts that you can possibly do. Once you have it set up like this, it is so easy and really fun to do. So I shall show you now. You take your left hand bottom colour and put it at the left at the top. You'll now have three at the top. So you're going to take the right and put it to the right of the bottom. Turn. And we're now doing the beige colour. Take the left, put it on the left. Take the top right, and put it on the bottom right. Turn. It really is that simple. That is basically it. So you just keep going round and round. It doesn't matter which way you turn it, as long as you're always taking the left from the bottom and putting it on the left of the top and the right from the top and putting it onto the right of the bottom. So I'll do that again a few times. 
this is one of those crafts that you really can just mindlessly chug along through watch your favorite tv program listen to your music or even just you know hang out with your friends and have a good chat it doesn't take too much concentration and you will start to pull down in the middle just keeping it all nice and tight now you'll find that you'll probably want to put this down go and have a cup of tea or whatever so you'll pop it down you'll go off you'll do your thing and you're going to come back to it and think which one's next if you look closely let me pull that down you will see that the beige ones are going over the green ones there on top. That means that it was the beige ones we did last, so it's the green ones to do next. I hope that's clear. So if I do the green ones next, you should be able to see now the green ones are on top. So it wouldn't take long to figure out which one you're supposed to do next if you've popped it down and come back to it. So this is what creates the spiral effect. So depending on where you position your threads, that's how you get different patterns. For example, this one, every single thread was a different colour. So it's created this sort of speckled effect. And obviously with this one, all the threads were the same colour. So it's just created a nice chunky cord. And this one, there were four different colours. So it's created by a pattern. You can also find ones... Uh, if you look online, there are patterns for doing floral designs, little flowers, um, sort of checkerboard ones. So they're really fun to learn. And it really is just a case of where you put your string. So we've got the green on top. Go to the top, right down to the right bottom, turn, left to the left top right to the right bottom. I'm going to do some more of this off camera and come back and show you how it looks as it comes out the bottom there. As you can see, I haven't got very far yet. So I shall be back in a moment. So I've been doing this for about four or five minutes and this is how far I've got with it. So you can see it's not the quickest process in the world, but it's so pretty and so neat. Um, I have the pendant I made in my wrapping a stone video, which I shall link below, which would look perfect hanging from this. It's the right colours, so that's what I'm going to use this one for. So if you do make macrame pendants, this is the perfect way to hang them. I'll show you this one again. So this is a really large, chunky stone. And it's got a really nice cord. You could do just basic twist cords or simple knot cords. But this, for me, I think is, is the way to go. I really like using this for my macrame work. And like I said before, if it's a, a craft children can do, if you use yarn or embroidery thread, you can make friendship bracelets and things like that. It's great fun. So I'm really pleased with how this one's coming out. The colours are absolutely perfect for my gemstone. So I'm going to continue with this and relax for the afternoon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or anything that you would like me to do a video for, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. I love to hear what you're up to, what you're making. And um, I shall be back next week with another craft video.
See you soon, guys.